Andy, we're live. Hi, everybody. Get comfortable. Hi, Hallie. The weather is uh, nice. Nice spring day here in New York. First day of spring. There's still snow on the ground, though. Hi, Mike. I feel like you good enough. Um, Mike's question about Big Little Lies. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. Hi, Linda. How are you? Linda and I grew up together, if you're wondering. Um, Big Little Lies. Uh, hi, Anna or Anna. Is it Anna or Anna? Wonderful. And the Greek Revival. Oh. Um, so a question about the Greek Revival. I'm just taking notes on the questions. Uh, do you know anything about the Carmichael Show? Mm-hmm. I do. Any news on New Girl getting renewed? Andy Swift is in the house. He's shutting the door now. Now the show's starting. Um, uh, Andy, why don't you come around? Okay. Yeah, you can come around. You're, you could be my co-host today. Your temporary co-host. Yes, until we give you, give you, give, uh, give you the boot. All right, so, um, hi everybody. You know Andy Swift. Um, I didn't shave today, and neither did Andy. But Andy never shaves, do you? I trim. Oh, you I have, I did not trim today. Oh. Um, Okay, so as folks are coming in, I made some notes on some questions I saw. Uh, Big Little Lies, Mike asked about Big Little Lies, he can't get enough. Uh, there's two more episodes left. I've seen this coming Sunday's episode, which is a uh, big Nicole Kidman episode. Um, uh, her, let's just say her character comes to something of a decision about her marriage. Ooh. I like that we live in a world now where you can say we've got a big Nicole Kidman episode. Right. And TV. <laughs> yeah. Ten years ago, it would be unthinkable. Um, but I, I'm obsessed with Big Little Lies, too. I'm, I'm kind of bummed there's only seven episodes. I could happily watch 13 episodes with these women uh, over multiple seasons. But we're only getting seven episodes because they're movie stars and they have big fancy movies that they have to go shoot. So we'll take what we can get. But, uh, and big fancy salaries that... Yes. <laughs> Won't allow for more episodes. Um, so this is the penultimate episode. I can tell you one thing I thought of after watching this coming Sunday's episode is how are they going to wrap everything up in just one more hour? I don't, I don't understand it. I don't know how it's possible because there are so many dangling threads still at the end of this coming Sunday's episode. Um, someone whose name I forgot was asked about a Greek... Uh, about the Greek Revival for an update. Um, unfortunately, no new news. Um, I, I know, it, it, I mean, I checked in with Freeform about this last week. They said it's still in development. Um, I hear they're working on the script and, you know, nothing official yet. It hasn't officially been ordered, um, but it is officially in development, so. Eh. That's something. It's something. Anything on the leftovers? Um, uh, premiere is just a couple weeks away. I just got my invitation to the the official Hollywood premiere, which is next month, which I'm excited about. I'll be in LA at the time, so I will be going to that. Um, no news on Timeless uh, renewal. I know 
folks were asking about that. Um, last month on earth, what are the chances you think I'm really loving this season? Uh, my gut, so I, did, I posted a story about last minute on earth over the weekend about its renewal chances and how it's on the bubble. I think a lot of people just assume that show is safe, mm -hmm. uh, but it's not. Ratings aren't great. Creatively, I agree uh, that the, the show is on fire this season. My gut is telling me it'll be back. That's, that's what my gut is telling me. And my gut is usually right. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, you hired me, didn't you? His gut told him that. Um, once upon a time, Matt Midovich will be here shortly to discuss once upon a time he visited the set. Yes. For a big while they episode. were shooting the musical episode. Lucky him. Um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. info. No, I don't have anything about that. Uh, any Superstore scoop? No, I don't have any Superstore scoop. But let me look at my list. Some other things I wanted to touch on. Oh, Bones. So we've got two more episodes of Bones left. Uh, I literally just watched the penultimate episode, which airs this week, which has a crazy cliffhanger at the end of it, um, leading into next week's series finale. I cannot believe the show is ending. That's, yeah. that That's a show. You talk about Last Man on Earth. Bones is a show that I always just feel like is going to be around forever. Forever. But it's not going to be around forever. And you know how I know it's not going to be around forever? Because we got this in the mail. Um, what is it? Journalists who have been covering the show for years. We got I got a commemorative piece of the set. Uh, is, that's a bone cool. from the bone set. Um, this is going to be in one of my charity auctions coming up. I have so much stuff for my next charity auction. I did a charity auction, some of you may know, a couple of years ago, where I got rid of some of my coolest pieces of swag over the years. Um, Firefly stuff, Buffy stuff, you name it. But I have, I have a ton more stuff, and I'm going to be saving this little, this little bad boy for my, for my... Oh, you know about that. Oh, I do. Andy ran that auction um, for me and almost killed him. It was a lot of work. It was. By the way, penultimate is the word of the day. I won't suggest doing a drinking game because it's a little early, but just take note. Oh, are you going to have some penultimate scoop? I don't know, but we've said it twice so far. All right, so yeah, so I just saw the penultimate bones. There it is again. <laughs> um, crazy cliffhanger. Uh, we'll be having some cool bones coverage coming up. Any news on the new pilot with Emily Van Camp and Matt Zucri? How crazy it is that the two of them are playing a couple on a, on a, on a yeah. show. Um, no news on the pilot hasn't even started shooting, I don't think, yet. It but takes a lot for me to get into a medical drama, but I think that's enough to get me at least interested. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, although it's interesting to me, so Matt Zucri plays a doctor and Emily plays a nurse. For whatever reason, I would assume that she'd be playing a doctor too, but she's playing a nurse. Hmm. Women can be nurses too, you know. I guess so. You <laughs> say so. Um, okay, so that's that. Okay. Also, this week, big TV, Rihanna debuts on Bates Motel tonight playing Marion Crane. I have, I have seen the episode. I have thoughts. I'm going to um, hold off on sharing them until after everyone has seen the episode, but I'm very curious to see what everyone thinks. Um, the show is so crazy good this season, I have to say. Freddie Highmore is giving, Freddie Highmore is giving the performance of the year, male, female, young, old, whatever you want to say, whatever demographic, Freddie Highmore is off the charts good this season. And I hope A&E is going to be invent investing some money on an Emmy campaign for him. That's, that's all I'm saying. That seems like a show people should be talking about more. Yes, I've been saying that since day one. They should be talking about it more. Um, okay, so I'm just going through my list of things. So... Blah, blah. Empire returns this week, and there is a Cookie Lucius scene in this week's Empire that is unlike any Cookie and Lucius scene I've ever seen before. Um, Taraji P. Henson is phenomenal. That's what I'm going to say about that. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Questions. Uh, Amazon. Amy Sharon Palladino's new pilot, The Marvelous Mrs. Mizell. Have you seen it? No. Why? You won't, you won't, you won't let me borrow the screeners. Oh, I can have the screener. It's here somewhere. 
Here you go. Yay. Oh, 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 geez. Oh, oh, God. That's actually not it. The, the, <laughs> the correct one is in, in my DVD player. I'll get it. Watching it. Tell us about um, it. It's such a great uh, pilot. Rachel Brosnahan, who we know from um, House of Cards and also Manhattan, mm. Little Scene Manhattan show on WGA. Oh, yeah. I remember that. But this is the one, this is the show that's going to catapult her into the um, major pop culture pantheon. She is incredible in this show, and I highly encourage all of you to watch it on Amazon. Vote for it to get a pickup, a series pickup. I can't imagine Amazon is not going to order this to series. Oh, yeah. oh breaking news. Here's the marvelous <laughs> Mrs. Mizell for Andy to watch. Thank you. Um, it's really, it's so entertaining, um, and it's a period drama set in New York about this uh, uh, female comedian uh, that doesn't really know she's a female comedian until she just happens to r randomly um, hop on a stand-up stage and starts doing an act, and the rest is history. It's great. Highly recommend it. Amy Sherman Palladino, another home run. Um, so, Andy, do you have any scoop for us? Um, I saw somebody asking about Baby Daddy. No, I didn't see yes, that. Yes, they said Freeform News, Young and Hungry, or Baby Daddy. Um, I don't have any scoop, but I feel like if, if there is not another season of Baby Daddy, I, from everything I've heard, I feel like we're going to get like a pretty decent like wrap-up ending. Like I think this might be... Well, there's of... so much mythology to that show. You know, it's gonna, they're gonna need at least two seasons, I think, Baby Daddy, to tie Listen, all the I'm surprised up. they never got a spin off, but that's just me. What but would it be called? Baby Mama. Maybe I've written this whole spec script in my brain. Um, but no, I, I, all I'm saying is if this is the, if this is the last season, I think fans will be like, I think there's gonna be like a closure aspect to the season. Can I, t can I make a confession? Yes. I've never seen an episode of Baby Daddy. I am not surprised. <laughs> There's also no news about Girl Meets World. I see that there. Look at Kelly. Oh, God, what did I click on? <laughs> Kelly, relax. It's going to be If you're okay. just joining us, we've reached the 30-second Baby Daddy you're... portion, and we're now, we're now over it. You're right. You're in the right place. Um, but yeah, no, no official news about um, Girl Meets World either. No. Mm, I feel like the clock is ticking on that one. I, I would imagine. I can't that, imagine no. girl. No, girl meets world. I think it, it's probably time to move on. If for no other reason than like by the time they do kind of get it up and running and everything, these kids are gonna look so much older. Um, Scream Queens. Well, we know you know Leah Michelle was released from her contract to go do this ABC pilot um, that that Nicole Brown is also in. Uh, and while Scream Queens is an anthology and, you know, and just because Leah is doing something else, it doesn't mean the show is definitely canceled. I think we can safely assume based on the ratings that Scream Queens is canceled. Although nothing official yet. Stranger things have happened. It's unfortunate because I had a really good third season idea for that show. Do you want to tell us what it is? So at the end of the second season finale, when they were all about to die and she was like, enjoy hell, Chanel's. I thought it would be cool if they did all die, and then season three was like the Chanel's in hell, and like how they navigated hell, and it would be really funny. Oh, I like that. I might watch that. You would. But they lived, so it's done. Um, it's moot. Okay, so Andy, I wanted to ask you, The Vampire Diaries ended. You did some great Vampire Diaries coverage a week ago. Thank you. Um, if you didn't see it, go on TV Line, search The Empire Diaries. All the post-mortem coverage will come up. You also did an essay about what the show has meant to you. Um, I want to know, in the week since the show has been off the air, what has your life been like? How have things changed? I saw on Instagram stories that you were out living it up on Friday night. I was living it up. For your first free Friday night in six months and you're out... I don't know what the hell you were doing. <laughs> well, listen, it was, it was my first free Friday, but, but Fridays are not without, you know, that we now have the originals. Fair enough, yeah. We now have the originals. So does that help, sort of, help you it, deal it with the ease, loss? Yes, it helps ease me in, because it, some of that knowledge is still going to be helpful in covering the originals moving forward, because it did come from there. So yes, it's been, it's been a, 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 a stressless week, but it's also been, you know, I don't know what else. All right. 
Um, hey, Matt Medovich, if you're watching this, do you want to come in and give us a little update on your uh, six-week tour of Vancouver, where you hit every set? We're not, we're not going to find out exactly how much of a delay there is from when, when he's asked to come in and when he goes um, in. Oh, I, oh, I think I see movement happening. I see movement happening. All right, I'm vacating my, okay. vacating my spot. All right. Andy, thank you for your contribution. Don't go far. Uh -huh. All right. Hi, Matt. Boom. How was Vancouver? Vancouver was cool. I heard, you, I heard you took a lot of really cool photos on the Once Upon a Time set. Oh, <laughs> no. No photos was Actually, that's yeah. not true. That is, a, that is fake news. One photo was taken. Which, uh, and no you one, shared which it. Which no one will be seeing anytime soon. But it's a good one. Oh, really? Yeah. Can we see it? No. Okay. No. Um, so that was a big episode. What can you tell us about that? What, yeah. did, what can you tell us about what you saw without spoiling too I much? was there for the musical episode. Mm -hmm. um, when I got the email the night before about what exactly they were going to be filming, I was like, get the heck out of here. Really? Yeah. It was a really... And it takes a lot It was a meaningful to part of the guy. musical episode. So I saw that big scene, and then after that was the big group number, what I call the Be Our Guest number, but they don't sing Be Our Guest, but it's everybody in town singing and dancing together, and... They sing Be Our Guest, don't they? They do not sing Be Our Guest. Okay. It's something like Happy Endings are Now Hours or something, but it, it was a lot of fun. Like, I know the show takes a lot of knocks, especially these days with the ratings and everything, but you have to have, like, a, st a heart of stone if you're not delighted by this uh, scene. So that was good, and I spoke to you know all, pretty much everybody there, and then I went over to the Flash, where I actually got to see three different episodes getting filmed at Flash. I saw they were reshooting the very end of the Flash's musical episodes. So I got two musical episodes, for price of one. Wow, that's cutting it close, isn't it? Right? Yeah, yeah. they were reshooting just like uh, a piece of the end, wow. and then I saw them shooting uh, an episode that's coming up, and then I saw the what I was there for was a big episode involving. I don't know what I can say, but I can say that I came this close to meeting Savitar. Like he was, we were right next to each other, and I wanted to get a selfie because he was all lit up and everything. Because it's a real person these days in a, in a big suit. The guy's really tall, but uh, no, no photos, you, no selfie. You really screwed the pooch on these photos. I it would have been a great selfie. I thought screwed even better than a selfie pooch. with Savitar. What if I did a selfie of me like in an empty warehouse? And then he kind of photo bombs me in the background. That would have been hysterical. That would have been great. Yeah. Too bad it didn't happen. So, uh, and then after Flash, I went over to Supergirl where I saw. Are these things like all on the same lot? No, no, they're all about like. You make it sound like you just. I got lucky that they were all shooting on stages that week. The days I went, I didn't have to do any outdoor shoots because one time I was outdoor for an arrow shoot, one on the rooftop and one outside the police station all night long in the rain. My feet basically froze off, but, uh, so I went over to Supergirl, they were doing a big episode that involves Kara, Maggie, and Alex, and then uh, and they also spent uh, hung out with Katie McGrath in her trailer. She plays Lena. She is hysterical. Really? She, we had so much fun. Like I did not want it to end, but you know, security has uh, you know, they came and got me. Mm. But uh, let's Damn see what security. else I've got here. Damn uh, security. Saw someone asking about Criminal Minds. As reported last week, Shamar Moore will be back for the season finale. He actually already taped it, he said on Twitter. Oh, really? So, yeah, he already shot that. So he, they probably had to hurry it up and pre-tape his scenes because he's off to do the SWAT pilot. And some people are like, oh, well, you know, couldn't Shamar come back for Criminal Minds next season full-time? Yeah. I have to think that a SWAT pilot on CBS, that's about as big a fastball down the middle as you get. I mean, that's CBS's bread and butter. Slam dunk. That's a slam dunk. Uh, Matt, how do you feel about, what do you think Thomas Gibson feels about Shamar Moore being an FS back to Criminal Minds? Somebody was asking about uh, Calista Flockhart coming back to Supergirl. <laughs> uh, we actually just saw Andrew Kreisberg the other night on Saturday night at Paley Fest. He said they are still hopeful that we might get another Calista Flockhart appearance. This season? season? Aren't they like... Still th hopeful. They have what, six minutes of the finale to shoot? Still hopeful. People always ask about Katie Cassidy. No, no. She of course is going to be the Legends of Tomorrow finale. Uh, Mark Guggenheim said it. She's in one pivotal scene, and there will not be a dry eye in the house. And as far as any other Katie Cassidy news, he, uh, he hinted at a, uh, an announcement to come. So we'll be keeping our eye out on that. Mm. And uh, Brandon Routh told us, uh, this week Leonard Snart returns on Tuesday night. Um, alive, not a dream, it's the actual Leonard Snart. Brandon Routh told us it's the uh, Leonard Snart from before he joined the Legends, so he's still a criminal, so it's a whole question about you know, can they really beat up on their old friend and, you know, shoot lasers at him and stuff? 
And, uh, you know, Mick's, of course, going to want to get him back on the team. But and I Anything on Snow and Charming? Oh, my God. Josh and Ginny, they were just great when I saw them on the set. Uh, I interviewed them together. He's on a first-name basis with them. Yeah, well, you know, if, I, if I was on first, uh, if butts. I was on a smash name basis with them, I'd call them, I would call them Gosh. But uh, they were great. They, have one, they had one of my favorite little tiny moments in the big musical song and dance number I was singing, what I saw them doing. Um, they, they were just, they're so cute. And, uh, Speaking of ones, mm -hmm. you posted today a keeper cut poll. If you have strong feelings, folks, about whether Once Upon a Time should end this season, or if you're curious to see what this reboot is going to be next season, the reset, go out on TV line and, and vote. Which, what are the early uh, results showing, Matt? I think I last saw about 55% 55% keep. Which oh, is right down like, the middle. Yeah, yeah, and it's definitely on the low side of all of our keeper cut polls. You know, I think Timeless was pulling like 93%. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like Pitch, too, I think was like 99% or something. Yeah, yeah I think after, after six seasons, as I said in, in the keeper cut uh, story, we kind of told Emma's story. And it's really Emma's story at the heart of it. I don't know what's left to do. There's really no more characters to bring on outside of like, I don't know, Pocahontas. So, um... Yeah. It, you know, although, I, as I also say, the reboot kind of, the reset also has me a little interested. If it's kind of like doing it from the new perspective of this young male lead, uh, that could be the way to go. Hmm. That's all I got. All right. Thanks, Matt. Can you send Kim Roots in? Oh, here's one more little arrow thing. People were asking about Olicity, as people call Oliver and Felicity. Stephen Amell is told new? us. It's a new I thing. I've heard that before. Stephen Amell told us that episode 19 is basically being called. Team Arrow versus Team Felicity as she gets falls further down the Helix rabbit hole. Thanks, Here's Matt. Kim. Thanks, Matt. Um, Kevin wants to know about Quantico returns tonight. Quantico returns tonight. Kim has stuff on Quantico. What are you guys doing in here? Uh, we're doing pretty well. I don't know. Andy's doing something on his phone, barely paying attention. I was posting to TV Lens Instagram. Check it out sometime. It's working overtime. Some good photos. Hi, guys. Uh, Quantico okay. tonight. So here's the thing. Yeah, break it down for us. Break it down for us. Hunter Parrish starts tonight. Oh, I think I saw something on the site about you did a story with Hunter Parrish. We did do a story with Hunter Parrish. Uh, did you ask him how he feels about um, murdering Josh Charles on Good Wife? Funny story. I did ask him about how he feels about murdering Will on Good Wife. Did and we that may show up in a future Throwback Thursday. Oh, spoiler alert! We're spoiling our own spoilers. Um, I will say so. So we aren't allowed to say a lot about Hunter Parrish, and Hunter Parrish isn't allowed to say about. I know we don't even know his characters. But name. here's the thing: as many of you guys point, or as a few of you pointed out, and you're not wrong. If you watch, if you put the clues together, like Encyclopedia Brown, and you watch the preview that ABC aired after the last episode, and what is ABC spoiling stuff in their promos again? And then telling us not to spoil it. So, but, so you guys do the work. It's just like Quantico. You have to race the clock to figure it out before 10 o'clock tonight. Getting get a lot of energy Walter from Kim Roots ways. today. I feel like I should bring it up a notch. <laughs> I'm, I was actually just thinking the opposite. <laughs> um, so. so, but wait, I, wait, hold on. I would really like, does anyone want to know about Grimm? Anyone? How I great is Grimm this season? Grimm is, I am a big fan of Grimm's final season because they do not give... That baby, a though. A Don't give me... Don't, don't even get me started about the... Lorraine. Oh, Lorraine. Lorraine, my girl. I, did, did you, I love that Kim's baby... Kim is so angry at this baby on Grimm. I'm just saying, the baby did not do anything except get carried around all season. Okay, Grimm. People want Grimm. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Penultimate. Isn't it the penultimate episode this it week? It is. Penultimate, penultimate is the word of the day. We, as a site, love the word penultimate. We do. I like to say second. We probably overuse it. We definitely do. We do. I like to say second to last because I'm of the people, but, you know. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the episode, this week's episode, really good. Do not miss it. It's the big lead up to the series finale. Um, there, It's going to make you question like fate and time and if this then that and it's very no you so not even just questioned fate on um, in within the grim no, universe like your just, whole fate oh your whole very existence will be called into question we'll after you see this, this week's hour, penultimate yeah. grim mm -hmm. um there's a really nice natalind moment for those of you who say i don't like nick and adeline together i mean have you met me i love nick and adeline together but i get a lot i get dinged a lot for that because i don't 
specifically call it out all the time. So there's a very nice moment for them. Um, but the big deal is the very end. I'm still laughing at me. No, it's just the a lot of energy. End. I'm not used I'm to it. I'm excited that I have a lot of caffeine. Um, the very end of the episode, there is some, can I swear on this? Yes. There's some shit that goes down. Oh, no, you can't say that word. There's some poop <laughs> that goes down. It, uh, there's death. There are the deaths of at least one and possibly more people that we know. What? Not like a like Vessin of the Week. Not like a, oh, hey, here's my sad um, grandmother or whatever, whoever died last week in the sad old people episode. This is like, this is a big deal. So I would watch. Any scoop on Nashville? Uh, it's coming back in a couple months. Rachel Bilson. Rachel Bilson's going to be Can on she it. sing? Andy, didn't you do some investigative research on whether she could sing on YouTube? She has some. On Heart of Dixie, she sang like she sang six little. lines of something. I feel like on that show, there, everyone has like a bass line, right? Everyone has yeah. a bass line where they can sing, and then they can play around with it if you can't. But, mm. um, okay. but wait, hold on. Graham, oh, Sleepy Hollow. Can we talk about Sleepy Hollow? Yeah, so <laughs> they're really doing some crazy stuff. I that think. is also a crazy, last week's episode was kind of insane with the big, did you guys see it? I don't want to ruin it if you didn't, but I'm going to ruin it if you didn't. Um, Lara, who showed up, this mysterious woman from that no one knew, is actually Molly from the future. What? <gasps> Every time I do that, I think about the little, when you held the rat in front of the camera and said, what? Funny. So, um, but John Noble is back in this week's episode. I love John Noble. I also love John Noble. And there's all this stuff about the horsemen, and um, we see a picture, we get an idea of what the future, this dystopian future. Are there any other futures that TV likes to delve into aside from dystopian? No. no. Oh, Handmaid's um, Tale. That made me think of Handmaid's Tale. That was tough to get through. Great performances. Really, really gripping show, the new Hulu show, Handmaid's Tale. It's a little depressing and cuts a little too close to home right now with the, the current I was say, climate. That's in like two minutes we're going to be in Handmaid's Tale. Seriously. Show, so. But Which is fine for me. You're screwed. Anyway, <laughs> it's starting right now. He just hijacked my, my Sleepy Hollow scoop, the patriarchy. I can hey, smash it. We just went from 200 to 191. <laughs> it's all my fault. It's, it's the Handmaid's Tale no, okay, conversation. Our ratings are plummeting right before our eyes, Kim. <laughs> Come on. Um, so yeah, so Sleepy Hollow, also worth a watch. Um, mm -hmm. looks like How many episodes do we have? Are we at the penultimate episode of Sleepy Hollow? Stop, I'm not. I refuse to answer any questions right. that have the word penultimate anymore. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's that's that. All yeah. right. And Thanks, that, if you come to the site after Grimm on Friday night, we'll have a postmortem with David Gentoli. Is he like the nicest guy in the world, David Gentoli? I ran I, into, I ran I'm into suspicious him. because... You can't be nice and smart and attractive. There's the, um, like I said, I'm um, suspicious. That's just got awkward. I ran into him randomly in LA a couple months ago and just the nicest, nicest guy gives me a hug on the streets of LA. I mean, I, I'm a very huggable person, but still he didn't have to do that. Wait, he didn't have to hug me. Every time I hug you, you tell me not to touch Because me. I don't like to be touched. Anyway, so this has been the David Gentile fan club, and yeah. um, if David, you're watching this, I'm sure you are. <laughs> Hello, thank you for the. No, hug. he's working on that new pilot with Papa the space. Gomery. It's the spaceman pilot, isn't it? The spaceman pilot, astronauts. Mission control. Yeah, mission control. Yeah. yeah, same thing. Stranger Things release date? Yes, we announced it. It's coming out, I believe, in, if in the fall, is it October or something? Supernatural scoop. Supernatural's been renewed. There's some scoop. Oh, speaking of renewals, Big Bang Theory just renewed. Breaking yeah, news. That, that is insane. Two seasons. I remember when I started. Twelve seasons it's going to be around. When I started here, it was going. It was either in the sixth season or going into the sixth season. And I talked to one of the EPs and they were like, yeah, we, like this is crazy, but generally shows peak around now. And then they start to go down and it has only kept going up. Yeah, well, and the ratings are strong. And yeah. I know some people are, are saying the show is petering out creatively. I, I still very much enjoy the show. Um, and, and I love that cast. I'm happy about the two season renewal. Um, so yeah, Midnight Texas. We just posted an exclusive on the trailer of the, the new Charlene Harris show that's going to be on NBC mm -hmm. later this summer. It looks pretty cool. It's very, I mean, if you, it seems like you were very, I was not into True Blood. Sorry. Andy Swift was. I love True Blood. Andy Swift loved True Blood. Did you like True Blood? Um, I like yeah I like I like the first four or five seasons of True yeah. Blood. It feels very True Bloody to me. It does feel very True Bloody, which makes to sense because it's based on the Harris book. 
Um, so we're, we're about nearing the end of, the, of our time here. Thank you, Kim. Happy to have Thank you, you for really bringing the energy this time. I, you know. Andy, come back around and let's close this bad boy out. Sounds good. Uh, we have a staff meeting to do. We do. A little inside baseball there. Staff meeting. Mm -hmm. um, Riverdale, that's been renewed. Lauren Graham Pilot Scoop. Uh, don't really have much uh, except that I hear it's it's a it feels more like a cable comedy than a broadcast comedy, which makes sense um, because Lauren probably got offered a lot of stuff, so it makes sense that she'd want to do something that didn't maybe fit the the normal broadcast mold. She's she's beyond that. She's not going to be doing. She's not going to be doing a typical comedy. She's no. going to be doing something that's a little, a little bit different, a little unique. So I, I'm excited to see it. Maybe. Are you excited to see it? I'm very excited to see it. Uh, Scandal. I got nothing on Scandal. I wish they would not talk so loud on Scandal. I it have is, to turn it the is volume loud, up. but they're just shelly. constantly screaming. You know what? Scandal cast, just bring it down one notch. Just one notch. You're, you're, you're hurting the eardrums. Um, look, it's Jason Sudeikis again. Oh, hi, Andy. Is that, a, what's, is that an inside joke? Do they think you look like Jason Sudeikis? Uh, I've, I've heard worse, so I'm sure. Any news on Exorcist 2? Yeah, that ain't happening. Any news on Pitch? 50-50. Making History doing well? Not so well. Making History on Fox is not doing that great. I kind of like it, too. I do like it. I'm bummed. I wish it was doing better. Any news on the Gilmore Girls front? Um... No news on the Gilmore Girls front. No, everybody is busy with other things right now, although you never know. I saw somebody ask about Drama High, which is now called Rise. Why couldn't we have just called it Drama High? I, I like Drama that. High. Rise I just sounds like Smash, and I don't think we want to retread that territory as much as I love Smash. I don't like Rise either. Jason Kadams, I know you're watching this. Change it back. We like Drama High. It says what it is. Rise means nothing. Rise means nothing. Rise is like Fear the Walking Dead. <laughs> um, Last Man on Earth, New Girl, 50 50 for both. 50 50 for both. Whoa. And Brooklyn Nine Nine, I think, is 50 50 too. But they won't get rid of all of them. No, they're not going to get rid of all of them. Not going to get rid of all of them. All right, so we're going to start wrapping things up. Andy, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Us. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Um, we'll try to do another one of these Monday. I know I say I'm going to do these every week, but I'm busy, and Andy's busy, and, but mostly I'm busy. And But I think we're going to try to do one of these next Monday again, too. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed. Thanks, everybody. Have a great week. Bye.